ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. But right now I'm in Nyabohanse village in Kenya, Sirare, Isibania. And I'm having a good time documenting about the hidden treasures of Nyabohanse. And uh, please guys watch the previous episode so for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. Marwa used to stay somewhere around this place and uh, right now the house was uh, demolished, they are putting in a new structure. Right now I want to introduce a guest. Ladies and gentlemen, you've all come to love him. You've seen him on Marwa's channel and his own channel. He's doing an amazing job on the road to 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I introduce to you Fundi Duke. What's up guys? This Fundi Duke, and I'm the rider. I'm riding Amino Anoto, in, in, Anoto China. in China. Yes. Yeah, we are riding to a neighboring center called Mabera. Mabera, yeah. Yeah, I've not been to Mabera. Yeah. But uh, now I want to explore, and uh, because my video has been on walking, walking in the car, but now this is amazing. You are riding on a motorbike uh, yeah. to Mabera for free. For free. Yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so tell us, who is Fundi Duke? Fundi Duke is just a simple guy. Mm -hmm. The way you see me, just a simple guy from a humble background. And I've been in Yamuhase since I'm young. Mm -hmm. We are, actually we are from Nyamira County. Nyamira County. Yeah, but my grandmother, grandmother of my mom, mm -hmm. my mom's mother, mm -hmm. came to this place even before my mother was. Uh, that time my mother was around uh, five years. Yeah, is the time we came to Nyabuansi. So even uh, my father coming to take my mom from or, or getting married to my mom. He took her from this place from okay. Nyabuanze to Nyamere. Yeah. But after that, after time, we came to realize that Nyabuanze is the best place to be. He himself, my dad, came and bought a land here in Nyabuanze. Yeah. It was around uh, 2001. 2001. Yeah. Since then, it's like uh, 22 years. 22 years here in Nyabuanze. In Nyabuanze. So I came while I was uh, still young. I was in. Uh, Class five by then. Okay. So I've been here for all of that time. Yeah. yeah. So I know this place, this place very well, inside out. What do you love about Nyabuhanse? Nyabuhanse is a very welcoming place, and uh, also Nyabuhanse is very unique. I've seen many people coming to Nyabuhanse, experiencing their life in Nyabuhanse. It's a very unique center where you, you you will come and not only say goodbye and go yeah you just say that i'm going but i'll come back yeah and i've seen so many people going and coming back because the, the people who came to just uh, visit are the people who have uh, bought land here built some big houses because they love the the, the venue of Nepal. and this place is very 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 green yeah, the place is very green, the and soil here is fertile, yeah. everything is doing well, everything. Even if you introduce something new with this land, it can make it, yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. You know, uh, this is just like the setup of uh, my home in Kitale. Yeah. You know Kitale? Yeah, I know Kitale. Have you been there? No, my dad has been there even... Uh, we have a place there, a place called is it Kimilili in Kitale? Yeah, Kimilili is in Kitale. So there is a, a relative of us having a place there, a land there. Okay. He is living there. Okay. Even the cousins are coming to visit us here, then they go back. It's only that I've not got that time to go and visit them. But Mabera, and I say, let's roll the camera as we go. Yeah. Because if, 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 you, if, if, if I give you time to go and jump up, you won't do it, maybe. And yeah, maybe the, the, the clan there, Yeah. actually, the clan is a, a subscriber of Baya Maro. Uh -huh. He saw me working at Baya Maro and he was looking for a welder. He just uh, got my number and 
told me, told me that I want to make a shade of a filling station. So I went and gave him the quotation. So the the shade is for the process now. The the way we are going, I'm going to show the masons where to start placing the baseline. Then after today, maybe tomorrow or today after noon, I'll start the didn't manage to go to the high school because uh, my dad was a, a businessman so he was uh, doing this uh, like we, we call it the business of border is like uh, you take the property from other country mm -hmm. you bring into Kenya you okay. sell uh, and you and yeah okay. so he took uh, the, the, the cigarettes which are written for export he went to sell in Uganda. When he was caught, he was uh, arrested. arrested there and uh, he took like uh, 10 years. What? So immediately that time he was arrested, we didn't know. He went missing like that, so I couldn't manage to go to school. And by that time there was no free education. So I just said that uh, life will not stop from there. I decided to look for what I can do. And I... I just sat down and thought of what to do. I said that I have to do what my uncle. There was a, a uncle of mine called uh, Darius Chacha. He was doing welding. Welding. So he inspired me because mm -hmm. he was uh, he was in Mombasa and he was every time visiting our place. Yeah. After visiting our place, he could leave us with a, a radio which he came with. Okay. So I saw that maybe that work has got a lot of money. I can do it. Yeah. But I didn't go there because. Of I just go there because of uh, doing that service. Yeah. I was like, uh, what can I do so that I can offer service? Mm -hmm. I don't stop from here. I, I have uh, a living. Yeah. So I decided to go and uh, join him in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. He trained me for like uh, six months. Yeah. And he was like, uh, this this kid is too good. Yeah. He can go. He can go back with this work. So. I've been with him for two years. I started. Uh, I started at 2006. I was with him for like six years. Working, he was leaving me in the workshop, doing everything. Until uh, when I, be I, I, I became, uh, I became perfect yeah. on making things, and uh, by that time he, he was seeing like. You know, being with somebody for too long, there is, there is that uh, colliding, misunderstanding. So he was like, I've taught you the work you've known, now you've become tough-headed. He chased me away from the workshop, so I started hustling my, by myself. After some time, he could call me again and say that uh, you come and reconcile, I reconcile, we work together again. And he chased me again. <laughs> Until I, I managed to open my own workshop, I started doing my own things. And I, I decided to shift from Mombasa to this place. So I've been in this place for like uh, two years. Two years. So I, I came on 2021. It was around uh, November. So, so it was like uh, the end of that year. So I started uh, my workshop at uh, where you were yesterday, you remember? Yeah, yeah. At that grandpa, yeah, village, village grandpa, grandpa that, place there. That outside there, you started the workshop outside yeah, there? Yeah, I started the workshop. Actually, I'm the one who introduced the the selling of the metals. Oh. He was selling, just building materials like d uh, those uh, rods and uh, iron sheets. Yeah and uh, those things for plumbing and uh, immediately I came there mm -hmm. I told him that uh, I do welding mm -hmm. and I know that uh, welding materials have a lot of money mm -hmm. so I introduced him to the client if I, I introduced him to my client who are in Nairobi 
they purchased on uh, how to bring uh, the the square tubes, the welding materials. He brought the first uh, materials. Even, I'm the one even who made that structure of uh, the shelves. Yeah. That metal shelves you saw there. Yeah, I'm the one who made it. Oh, okay. I'm the one who designed it and made it the way it is. And it was the first one in this in this area. Oh. You can go to big address in Sirari. They just copied from village grand. Oh, yeah. They copied. The one you told them. Yeah. They just even in Mabera here, they just copied from village grandpa and they started making they just make made things like that uh, so reason because i introduced that uh, structure there so i've done a lot of work even here in mabera there's uh, some houses like one we have passed just behind there i made uh, the the windows the doors and uh, the gate and even in front past mabera there's a, a house, a very big house. Okay. I made everything there. Okay. Are you the person who did the gate? Of uh, Ayamara's gate. Yeah, I'm the person behind Ayamara's gate. Yeah. Yeah, I made everything. Because I, I, I saw in Ayamara was very worried that the people will start giving you work and uh, then you leave him <laughs> yeah. before finishing the job. But already now you see the, where we are going. Yeah, he's one of his subscriber. Yeah, he's here in uh, in this center, mm -hmm. and he has. It is the first work I'm going to start today. Uh, after Maras, uh, after gate. Maras Gate, uh -huh. and after that introduction, mm -hmm. actually the guy is there. Okay. So we cross. No. When? Oh, we go. Huh? So. I said my went to. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to know, is your father released from jail? Does he have the 10 years in Uganda? Yeah, he finished the 10 years. Uh -huh. He's back at home. 10 years in, away from the family? Yeah. What did that make you feel? It, it, it actually changed our life. Uh -huh. It changed our life totally. It's now we are regaining it. Because uh, the position where we were, the time he was uh, there, and the, the life we passed through all those 10 years, yeah. it was a... Uh, it made you a tough man. I think it made me... Even I'm, I'm ever crying that if he could be there, mm -hmm. I could not be the one I am today. Okay. So you are better, that one made you better, or did it have any effect on your life? Yeah, it have a, a lot of effect because I didn't go to school that okay. and I in class I was the best. What? The the people I helped uh, doing uh, like KCP, mm -hmm. I pushed them to go to good schools, mm -hmm. they are something else. Big people. They, they are big people. Yeah. Like one is a, a very big doctor in Mombasa County. Mm -hmm. Even now, we are communicating like classmates. He's uh, sending me tips. Okay. And you see, now I missed that chance of being a very big person. Yeah. But I'm regaining, I'm just struggling to... Yeah. It is emotional when I come yeah. to sit down yeah. and think of it. Yeah, it's... Uh, just sorry. say that uh, so, it's a bygone now. Yeah, it's sorry about that. Uh, Sometimes life happens, but as a man, you have to show your strength. That's the period that makes you transition from a boy to a big man. You have to hold the family and you have to support each other and move. And right now in the YouTube space, you are making it big. And uh, you, you guys are growing courtesy of uh, Marwa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is it okay to film around this place uh, as you do? We show, we show the people how you do it. Uh, it will be okay. It will be okay. So you just proceed. Yeah. yeah so it's okay. We can flow with the, your vibe. This is your bike? Yeah, this is my bike. Awesome, awesome. So, so this is the place where we want to go. So is this a petrol station? Yeah, it was a petrol station, but uh, it was a... Uh, I think uh, the owner just told me that they were they were doing it as a collabo. Okay. So after doing it as a collabo, uh -huh. they came to... Issues, issues. Issues, they separated. Okay. And now he came back and uh, bought the land. Okay, also all yeah. of this is his land. Yeah. Okay. 
So what are you at doing here now? So I want to put uh, the shed. The shed? Yeah, the okay. shed of uh, filling station. So I have to put the shed mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. oh, right here? Yeah. Okay. And then he will install the pumps. Okay. And yeah, it will be a very... Let me say that it will be big, yeah. big filling station in this area. Yeah. Because I, I know Dim Wang wants to set up a petrol station there at Nyabuansi. Yeah, and I've not seen any big petrol station around apart from up to Sirari. Yeah. So this is a good idea. And a friend of mine does this. He installs petrol station deals with petroleum pro products. Here in Kenya? Here in Kenya. And he goes even up to Tanzania and Uganda. They have done a good job. It's called Scatius Logistics Limited. Of, uh, my friends call Steven Kangel. So when you talk about a petrol station, it was, he tells me a lot of stories about a petrol station. So I relate. So okay. let me first do this structure. Okay. Then uh, you, I, I'll send you the picture. I, I think uh, you, you are moving away. Out. Yeah, yeah, but you send me on WhatsApp. Uh, I'll send you on WhatsApp the picture of the structure. Or I feel him it. Yeah. Then I send to you. Yeah. And you introduce me to the guy. Oh, so okay. That I can, yeah. Uh, Tomorrow, yeah, he'll give me the job, maybe one or two filling stations, yeah. and I make the shape. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah uh, I'll, I'll link you up with my friend. Yeah, yeah that one is done. Yeah, so you can start as we continue with the so this one. I'm loading great, uh, boss. okay. So, grease the boss. I will, I don't know if it's okay. Let me stay here. So, guys, that is Fundi Duke. We are here in Nyabu Hanse. This is Mabera, going all the way to Migori County, and this one going all the way to Nyabuhanse. So that's what's up. That's what's happening around this place. A peaceful town, uh, not so much going on, but uh, it's opening up to uh, the rest of the world. We are finishing our documentaries about the hidden treasures of. Yabohanse and we're having a very good good time to document the beautiful amazing stories of Nyabohanse in terms of the YouTube space they have really uh, grown they have inspired a whole generation of youtubers so many content creation uh, happening around here so many talents so many success stories and uh, ladies and gentlemen I hope you guys are loving the stories about the hidden treasures of Nyabuhansi. This is an auto in China any day, all day. An auto in China, an auto in China, an auto in China. Here we are in Mabera. Mabera is neighbors to Nyabuhansi. As you head to Isibania or Sirare, this is the last second last one of the second last villages before the border town so i uh, hope you are progressing well i hope you are learning i hope you are being inspired yeah and we are exploring together and we'll achieve so much more together so when you do he's talking to the client over there and uh, let's see how it goes and uh, the second part of this i want to ask him how he met Ayamarwa, his first job in Ayamarwa's Villa Medellin, and uh, how Ayamarwa has influenced him on the YouTube space. And uh, finally, I want to ask him uh, what his plans are moving forward, so that uh, as we progress, you guys can understand the various, various pristine stories here at Nyabuhansi in East Africa. Kenya and then I'll be able to go back to China so that we continue with our amazing documentaries about China. So Jakashi Anoto Zai Mabera Jakashi Anoto Zai Nyabuhanse Jakashi Anoto Zai Kenya Jakashi Anoto Zai Fei Africa Jakashi Anoto Zai Jongo. So uh, I don't know if uh, they will allow me to film. Uh, let me let me ask. Okay, let me. We meet at the end of the break, and we see what's happening. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Kwenda hivi, ni hapa. Na ete kamba hapa, kana wetu kuiwa. What is happening there? Yes, yes. And the Duke is taking the measurements. And he is showing us how. Kwenda hapa mwenda. Yo. Kwa hile kisikuwa mkwa mwenda? Kwa mwenda, kwa hile kisikuwa mkwa hapa? Did you, what are you doing? We are measuring the structure. Oh, okay, okay. So we have to get the square or the diagonals. Okay. And then uh, we we have the center. Okay. This is, will be the center. And what you want is the the you know those uh, two metals holding yeah. the shade. The canopy. Yeah. Yeah. So the. We want to set the base. Okay, okay. The base uh -huh. is, is what we want. We want to get the square, then we get the measurements from this end. Okay. To to the to get that base. Alright. Maybe mm -hmm. this stone will interfere the measurement. Will it? Yeah. We put a kirefu kidom in this area. Jump up, jump up, jump up. Bigger. I'm taking the one hand. The canopy or the shed is normally that cover of the petrol station. Cover, the cover of the petrol station, so they need to uh, erect a shed. For, you who, for those who have been to a petrol station, can relate with what I'm saying. So, in a petrol station, there's normally the part of the machine, the pump. So the pump needs to be protected with a shed. So here what they are doing is to try to erect the shed. And then down here will be the pumps. Down here will be the pumps. And then the canopy will be somehow elevated so that uh, whenever it rains, the, the petrol, the pumps are protected so that water does not... Uh, you know, water and petrol don't go hand in hand, so they need to protect it so that's why they are taking these measurements. These measurements, so that's what's happening. The diagonal must be. The diagonal must be equivalent. This one, it's like a Pearson square. All the sides should be very equivalent. So that's why Fundi Duke is taking the measurements. For those who are watching from the other end of the break, welcome back. This is Anoto in China. I'm doing the documentary about the hidden treasures of Nebo Hansi and uh, we are here with Fundi Duke and he had a client who says he's Maro's subscribers and uh, he gave him work. So after constructing Maro's gate, this is the second job he's doing, uh, courtesy of uh, the big work we did at um, Mario's place, so let's see how we do it. Mm. 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 Mm.
Tafadhali usikise. Yaani nataka nataka inzacho weather tini ifike hapo siende hapo. Ifike tu hapo. Ya ifike hapo. Flash na hii because gari ya gari ya mvua hii is getting instruction from the bank. So that uh, they agree before starting uh, the work. Lakini kuna mahali penye itagusa. Kuna mahali penye itagusa mabaji. Yes, so it will touch the iron sheet so they are trying to do the mask. By Kuna uwezekano si hapa hakuna shida shida ni hivi sio shida hiyo diagonal sasa asidamu na bado tu reduce bado zaingia na tukisu kama kama unaona kwenye sakata meka nini hiyo kora square hapa basi sijakuja na square kata kupea raini The measurements must be exact. Yeah, the measurements must be exact. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For the construction to start. So that's why they need to ensure things are exactly how they want it to be. Yeah. The measurements should be very equal. The length from there to there should be equal with the length from here to here. And the diagonal length should be equidistant or should be the same. From the, there to here needs to be the same. From there to there needs to be the same be the same and more measurements happening what are you doing hello rudisha chini tafuta remote rudisha chini huko eh rudisha rudisha kamba mura si sana na wewe wewe rudisha hapo ana nilikuwa nilikuwa kokola unaona kwa mura unapaya nini na hiyo ina chukua level level oh it diagonal level let me show you this machine. This is to check the level of the machine. What's this thing here? Yeah, the water level. We call it water level. Yeah, so they need to balance the level here. And also another tool. Na hii tool ni gani nyingine hii? Hii bado ni square. Square. Yeah, level. Corner iko 90 degrees. Yes. So the square makes the level 90 degrees. So that's what's happening here. Taking measurements. Oh, measurements. types of activities happening around here. There's a car wash over there, a shop, gifted glass mats, and uh, children playing over there, passing here. Measurements are in progress. Oita. 
So that way it's level now. To go up to there. Up to there. Sando in the Magyar in the drop. Right, so that's what's happening. Taking measurements. So let's see how it goes. So, ladies and gentlemen, from the Duke is done with the measurements, and we need to go back to Nyabohansi. So let me put my gear. Yeah, now oh, awesome. So when is this construction starting? He has just said that it is starting tomorrow early in the morning. Oh, so from tomorrow you are very busy? Yeah, from tomorrow uh -huh. I'm busy. Tomorrow in the morning we are going to, to the hardware. Uh -huh. We take the materials. Okay. They be at the site. Uh -huh. Then uh, the structure starts immediately after the, we have brought the materials. Okay. The tanks are already do down, so it's just to connect them. No, the tanker will be there. Oh, there, there. They, they first want to put that structure mm. and also the, the, yeah, the, the security shop. the security house okay. will be there. The one they are making. Okay, okay. So that one will be the security house and they also the attendance house. So if there is one will not be coming from the area, okay. will be sleeping there. So maybe in like uh, two, two, three, four days, you'll be done? Oh, we'll be done. Okay, not, okay. E no, 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 not even four. Hey. Two okay. to three. Two to if, three. If they are, it takes so long, it is three days. Okay. But um, me, I'm planning for only two days of oh, finish. And then you move. Hey, you are very efficient. I like that. Because if I come to work at the site, uh -huh. I don't uh, receive other calls. Uh, maybe somebody is calling me, wants me to go elsewhere. Elsewhere to work. I, okay. I don't do that. Okay. I only do that when I'm at the workshop. Yeah. And I'm actually glad I've gotten the chance to see what you do. But now I, I will be able to see the final product later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Anoto in China and this is Fundi Duke. Yeah. Uh, check him out on his YouTube channel for amazing, amazing content. You can your way. Yeah, Fundi with the F U N D Y. F-U-N-D-Y Yeah Fundi Fundi Q Yeah, Fundi Q Hello? We are heading back Hello? They are building something like that place They are building something like that I said you They are building something like that I want to send somebody some money Okay, okay let me post because of copyright. So how did you come to meet Marwa? Marwa has been traveling. Actually, he was called... Uh, I think he went to Canada yeah. as, as an English teacher. To Colombia? To Colombia, yeah. yeah. As an English teacher. Yeah. So after a while, he became a YouTuber. Yeah. So as my classmate, I had to follow him. I started following him since then, up to now. Were you in school with him? Yeah, we were in school together. For real? 
real some some class same class even we did the same year but we were in the same school but uh, during the final exams we did the his exams in a different school primary was primary kind of what was the name of the primary he did a HKCP at Rev uh, David Westport and I did my KCP at uh, St. Luke's Rockere. Rockere? Yeah, Rockere. So you are young. Yeah, and congrats mom was uh, our, our deputy headmaster. Congrats mom was the deputy headmaster. Yeah, that time she was the deputy headmaster. But, uh, Yeah, the water runs from Mara's place. What's the name of this bridge? It is called, uh, this place is called Ragana. So this bridge is called Ragana Bridge. There's a bridge here, we want to see it. Ragana Bridge. Uh, look at that. I tend to believe uh, if you follow this uh, water, you'll go up to Mara's uh, compound. Actually, yeah. this is uh, the water coming from the river from Myanmar. From river YouTube all the way it comes up to this place. And actually mm -hmm. it originates from a place there ahead. The, in front of uh, when you pass Nyabuansa a bit yeah. it origins from there. Oh. Yeah it, it is originating from just uh, near this Tamak road. Okay. And you see it is going this way. Yeah. And then if you go to Migori. Yeah. It is joining. Oh, there is the another river Migori in Migori. River, yeah. Oh, Migori it joins Migori River. Yeah, and also it is it is passing under this road. Yeah, yeah, we you have can see Migori Bridge. Migori Bridge is under this river, joining there. Yeah, and going on. Here. Oh, this is very very impressive, and it has a lot of water. It, it rained yesterday. Yeah. Actually, guys, let me give you a better view. So this is us. This is here in Nyabu Hansi. Nyabu Hansi. And this is me over here on top of 
the bridge. This bridge comes from River YouTube at Maro's place and flows up to Migori to join River Migori, ladies and gentlemen. Um, really, really happy to be here and uh, we are documenting or we've been documenting a series about the hidden treasures of Nyabo Hansi. Finishing it up in style, and uh, we are progressing very well. We just came from uh, one of the subscribers of Marwa. He has a job, and we showed you how they take the measurements. So that's me. Let me give you another better angle so that you can let that's the, that's the river. The river and the source. River YouTube going all the way up to Maros place. And uh, the river crosses also the road. And I'll be showing you that in a bit. So this is the Migori Isibania or Tirare Road. So coming all the way from there to there. So let me cross, I show you another space here could be dangerous this you see that bar this one it's not here so somebody could easily fall over the cliff so let me stand here for safety purposes so that's the river you can see there's no rail here Maybe the government needs or somebody needs to, of course the government, so there's a lorry coming, there's a lorry coming, let me see. Uh, so that's dangerous because if somebody loses control, they will end up in this ditch. That one is protected, this one. You see this? This is what I'm talking about. This it's protected the bridge is protected but on this other edge it's not protected it could be very very dangerous so this rail this rail this rail needs to extend up to over there here it's not it's not safe it's not safe not not safe at all you can see not safe at the edge not safe at all so they need to put that bridge so that uh, it will be safe Fundi Duke, this is not <laughs> this is very dangerous if there was a nini, there was a, uh, a pavement like that yeah but it was hit by the trailer Oh, a trailer hits this, this place. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it was there. Yeah. Oh, but it was, it just fall inside. Yeah. I think the area people took it. Took it. And sold as scrap metal. Yeah. We have, we have to rush to the yeah. workshop. Yeah. I need to send someone money. Is uh, on the way coming. Okay. And the vehicle is moving. So we finalize in the next ten minutes. Yeah. It's, uh, you said this is river. It is called. Uh, this place, the river, I don't know the name. The bridge is called? Eragana Bridge. Eragana Bridge. Yeah. So we finalize in the next few minutes. And we call it a day. Ah, nice. The metal bar was there, but it was hit by a trailer. Did the trailer fall in the river? Yeah, the trailer fall in the river. Oh. Actually, it, it, the driver died. The driver died there? Yeah. On the spot? On the spot, and the, the, the items he was carrying was taken? Yeah, were taken by the people. Yeah. Yeah. What? It was, uh, I think it was around uh, 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. Be between 11 p.m. and uh, midnight. Okay, which year? It was... Uh, It was a long time. Uh, it, it is like uh, if it is not uh, 12 years, yeah. it is 15 years. 
their houses in Nyabuanze so I did me, me, met, me met so many friends you are, you, you, are, you are a cocktail of so many things <laughs> yeah, so keep on keeping and keep on pushing yeah. the sky is the limit and uh, take everything one step at a time yeah. every day at a time I know you will achieve your goals yeah. you will be monitored soon and uh, you will move forward, people will know about you and what you do and uh, you will build a community of supporting audience around you. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's not the edge up to the Sibania border. Uh, so, uh, the one is the last village. No, to the border, or the second last village. The, yeah, the second last village, because we have uh, the center there. It's Bania, where Bania High School is. Okay. 
there is also a center there okay. with the uh, what did I be a eh do you sleep you yeah. can she's a sister to my dad oh she's sister to your dad yeah now oh, i'm told <laughs> I'm told. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so let's yeah. finish this yeah. ladies and gentlemen make sure you subscribe follow for more this is an auto in china and i'm finishing up with fundi tube uh, here in nyabohansi so until next time see you in the next episode bye bye